so now coming to the posterior wall of the middle ear cavity it is actually called as the mastoid wall because it is related to the mastoid antrum and the mastoid air cells so mainly in the upper part of the posterior wall uh, you see a opening which is the additus to the mastoid antrum okay through this the middle ear cavity communicates uh, uh, with the mastoid antrum through this opening which is called as the additus or the opening to the mastoid antrum okay and you know the roof of the uh, middle ear cavity continues as the roof of the mastoid antrum also okay so that is part of the mastoid air cells and it through communicates through an opening in the upper part of the posterior wall which is called as the additus to the mastoid antrum then what other features you come across is the vertical part of the facial canal okay so you'll be able to see the vertical part of the facial canal inside which the uh, facial nerve uh, is actually descending up to the stylomastoid foramen through which the facial nerve emerges out of the skull so the facial canal has got a vertical part and also an oblique part uh, which you uh, will come across in the medial wall of the uh, middle ear cavity okay so that will be the medial wall of the middle ear cavity which uh, you see the impression uh, of the oblique part of the uh, facial canal and this is actually the stylomastoid branch of the stylomastoid artery which you are able to uh, see here inside the facial canal the vertical part of the facial canal and uh, you also have fossa insidious a small uh, depression near to the aditus so the short process of the incus will actually be suspended from the fossa insidious uh, by a ligament so that we will uh, discuss when we actually pass on to the ear ossicles then you see a bony projection which is actually called as the pyramid and uh, uh, it is pyramid in shape that bony projection it's got a small opening through which the tendon of the stapedius muscle uh, emerges so inside the pyramidal prominence or projection you see the stapedius muscle and the tendon alone comes out through a small opening and it is actually getting inserted to the neck of the stapes bone okay so inside this you have the stapedius muscle uh, with its uh, nerve supply nerve to stapedius which is again a branch from the facial nerve so next uh, we will actually pass on to the middle uh, the next wall is the medial wall or the labyrinthine wall so that is the lateral wall which we have seen in the previous uh, class and uh, it is actually closed by the tympanic membrane anterior wall where it communicates with the auditory tube and that is the roof so the medial wall is labyrinthine wall because it is very much intimately related to the internal ear and which is mainly formed by the bony labyrinth okay uh, and inside the bony labyrinth only you have the membranous labyrinth okay so let us try to understand what are the features uh, which are present on the medial wall so on the medial wall main feature what you see is an eminence or uh, prominence which is called as the promontory okay so this is actually called as the promontory uh, the bulge or the impression formed by the basal turn of the cochlea uh, 